Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Within Sage 50, you have access to a cash account register that allows you to enter transactions which affect cash accounts into a checkbook-like format if you prefer. You can view the register by selecting tasks from the menu bar and then choosing the account register command. Within the account register window, Use the cash account drop-down that appears towards the top of the window in order to select which cash account to use. Then use the Show Transactions For drop-down to select a date range for which you would like to see the transactions within this register. To enter a new transaction, simply click the New button that appears in the Windows toolbar. Then in the next blank transaction line within the register, you can type a transaction date or select one from the calendar drop-down. Then select whether this is a payment or a receipt from the Type Columns drop-down. Then enter the amount of the transaction into the Payment or Receipt columns within that row as appropriate. Next to the Type column, click into the Reference column and enter a reference number, such as a check number, for example. Then click into the Payee or Paid By column and select a customer or a vendor as appropriate. Next, click into the General Ledger Account column and use the drop-down to select to which General Ledger account you want to apply the amount that you entered. Note that if you need to split the amount that was entered between multiple General Ledger accounts, then click the Split button that appears next to the General Ledger Accounts drop-down in order to open the Split Transaction window where you can split the transaction amount until the total amount has been dispersed. If you open the split transaction window, simply click the OK button when you're done to return back to the account register. Now when you are finished, simply click the Save button that appears at the right end of the line in order to save the transaction. Note that if you need to drill down to view the associated transaction entry screen and edit the transaction at a later date, you can do that too. You can simply double click on the entry that you want to edit to open the receipt or payment in a separate window. You can also click the edit button that appears at the left end of the row. Now notice that you cannot drill down on some transactions that appear within a register, such as the reverse portion of a reversed general journal entry, a beginning balance transaction, opening balance lines, or applied prepayments for payments or receipts. When you're finished, simply close the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.